20 millihenries, 40 millihenries, 60 millihenries. Okay? Usually a lot of uh, ordinary capacitors are of that range. Millihenry or uh, I believe this one, and we're going to measure it during the class, I believe it was uh, uh, something like 300 millihenries, something like that. Two, two to three hundred millihenries. So that's kind of what the typical capacitor is going to be. So what's the total capa uh, What's the total? Did I say capacitor? I think I said capacitor. That's what the typical inductor will look like. Um, so if I ask what is the total inductance of this circuit, you simply just treat it as a resistor. Same rules as the resistor, right? So um, one over. Right, 120 over 5, which is 24. No, so next to each other, in other words, if I place two, if I place two solenoids next to each other and connect them from here to here, from connect them from here to here, that's going to reduce their uh, uh, their ability to create a back EMF, okay? But if I put them end to end like this, they become a stronger uh, uh, inductor because the coils just simply add up next to each other, I see? If I put them end to end, what am I doing? I'm increasing the, sur the surface area of the inductor, okay, while keeping its length the same. And I'll show you in a minute that that's going to reduce its inductance. But if I put them next end to end, I'm keeping their uh, surface area the same, but increasing its length. That increases its inductance, you see. So then 24 and 20 is uh, in series, so L total is going to be 44 millihenries. Okay? So that's one thing. I showed you now how the uh, inductors add up, and then I showed you the difference between.